And I think, I think Bitcoin's gotten to the point where, you know, that 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 bear case of it just going to zero um, has sort of been, yeah, I think that's gone away at this point because there are just too many people who who have a vested interest in it. I mean, when you look at the the Bitcoin ecosystem, you know, it's 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 the developer community, but but you know, also all the institutions, the individuals, the Robinhood traders, the exchanges, etc. And and you think about this on a global basis. Um, you know, one of my um, investors in SumZero runs ZebPay, which is like the largest digital asset exchange in India. Um, there are just too many people who own it for, I think, Bitcoin to go away, barring some sort of serious um, uh, technological innovation um, that, for whatever reason, created a, a far superior store of value. Um, but I, I think right now... Um, you know, if, if if you're uh, if if you if you if you're thinking about portfolio construction, um, you'd be remiss not to have Bitcoin somewhere in there. And and I think you know, for for a lot of people, they would say, you know, gold is, should probably be, but you know, one to five percent of someone's portfolio. Um, I mean, that that's pretty common. You know, um, you could argue. The same for Bitcoin. So um, I don't see that changing anytime soon. And what it, what's amazing is just the flood of institutional interest in it. I mean, it's not just Michael Saylor, it's not just Tesla, it's not just Square. Um, you know, there there are ten thousand companies, public companies in the U.S. You have to believe that I don't know half of those CFOs at least are thinking about. Um, Bitcoin as a substitute for corporate cash, and of that, some some significant portion, some non-zero portion, are going to actually pull the trigger.